Hi, it's Martin from Brick Makeover. So today we're going to be tinting this extension. We're going to be doing mortar tinting and we're going to be doing brick tinting. People don't quite realise the importance of having the correct colour mortar and the difference it can make. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through the day on every process of mortar tinting and brick tinting. So I might just darken that a little bit yeah. and then put these like darker bits in there just so it'll yeah. just it'll blend, blend all the way across. Yeah. So I just want to do as much as I can so when someone comes in they look at it and yeah. think oh, they ain't got much to do to it. A lot of effort, yeah. Add value to it. That's it, mate. Mate, it's hundred percent. And that's what we'll do. What they tend to do with the older houses anyway, as you see there, it was always built with a different brick on the left on the on the gable side. So they used to put cheaper bricks on that side more expensive bricks there so it'll look it will look like it's supposed to be like that as well and first of all we're doing the mortar tinting so it's a yellowy buffy browny color so what i'm doing now is i'm putting I've got 20 years experience of doing this, so I pretty much know what's going on and what colours need to go in. So at the moment we've got a grey, we've got some grey pigment, we've got some white and some yellow. Now you're not always going to know how it's going to react with the mortar or the brick colour. So what we have to do first is get a base colour just to see what it's like. We'll test it, we'll dry it, then that's where you'll you either carry on with it, you've got the colour right first time or we just have to tweak it with a few different colours. You need to make sure you've got all the pigments mixed up. That's why I put the brush over the, um, the edge, just to catch any residue or any pigment that hasn't been mixed. But don't tell anybody. That's a trade secret. So we're just going to go try a small area. So I can see there, it's not going to be thick enough and don't think it's going to be pale enough. Turns out, I could be wrong. I'm not going to get any closer than that. the mortar here and not tinted it there there now the reason I'm making a big deal of the mortar is because you can see there's a difference in the the appearance of the color of the brick yes the mortar's been tinted but it's also makes the brick look different so that's why it's so important that we tint the mortar as well so I'm, I'm gonna see if the mortar color works for the same as the brick. I think that'll work nicely. So there's going to be about five different colours. There's going to be a yellow, there's going to be a purple, there's going to be a brown, there's going to be a reddy, and there's going to be a black. It's quite heavily textured, the original brick. The other one isn't as heavily textured so it's a blend of all the different colors that some will be darker some will be lighter and, and the way you do that you leave the previous base color a little bit damp so that it all blends in it's like water coloring So 
So doing that, it takes your eye away from what's above and what's below and you can just see through the finished product going into the original house. That. Sometimes with cables just get in the way, all we've got to do is just move them out of the way a little bit. And then we need to also find out if the cables are staying or not. Because the last thing you want to do is the cables come out and then there's just a little line behind it. She's on the go. So the reason I'm making these black is if you look at these buds here, they go all the way along the house. So I'm make it look completely right I'm just going to take that all the way through to the other side say black more of a purple that we quite often have in the earlier months of the year is the sun goes down quite soon so we're just gonna have to wait until the sun drops down to see the right picture so I want it to go behind those bloody houses about that much hold on quite match in the morning or whatever, just, you know. Sign that for me. Thank you very much. Wonderful job. So that's the job complete. We've done mortar tinting and we've done brick tinting. It was a little bit harder than expected. Now, we've done six different colors in the bricks. We've had to mix colors in. We've had to put colors on top of each other, but we've had a fantastic result. The customer's happy, we're happy, everybody's happy. Like, subscribe and share. <laughs>